It's your thinking that gets you in trouble. It's your thoughts that cause you stress. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. I'm so glad you came by here today. You can find me at Thrive, Don't You Survive dot com. So you can go up here and check out the full story on the thinking and how it causes your stress and really messes up your life. And today I want to give you a very specific example so you can understand. <coughs> After brain surgery caused me to have a condition inside that can be terribly painful and because it builds up over the years and because I'm close to five years past the brain surgery and the resulting nerve damage causing the condition, I've been really, really sick this year. And back in February, the pain was so severe and I knew, I was thinking, I knew the consequences of having that situation go on in my life and I honestly didn't think I was going to make it through the next 60 days. We wrote my will and everything. It was bad. And the universe kind of gave me yet another wake up call that said, you who stop thinking about what's going on, just be and just allow yourself to be. So when I stopped having all of those thoughts, you know what, I started getting better. I started resuming a more normal life. Is the condition still there? Yes, but guess what? It's not anywhere near as bad as it was. So, what are you thinking about that's robbing you of your vitality and your enjoyment of life? Now, come back next week because I'm going to explain to you exactly how you get into the I am consciousness as opposed to your ego mind thinking that controls you.